Okay, welcome. This is the Leprechaun Canyon drainage in South Central Utah. Uh, our little crew is heading up to do a slot canyon. So I thought I'd take you with me today so you could see, we'll look a little bit at the geology as well, but to just sort of see how some of these technical slot canyons look uh, from top to bottom. So our first path here, you can see some of our crew heading up now is uh, going up the sandstone ridge, maybe 400 feet or so, uh, and then we'll get up to a higher elevation where we can drop in. You can see here, this is the part of the exit narrows of Leprechaun Canyon. Um, and Lepre Leprechaun Canyon, like a lot of these canyons here in Southern Utah, the main unit that forms a lot of these slot canyons is the Navajo sandstone. This is this uh, Jurassic aged, mostly uh, homogeneous. It's all the same throughout the grain size of the material, quartz rich, cross bedded sandstone that formed when this area was a big, vast sand dune area. So we'll head up. We can see some of the cross bedding right here where the beds are at an angle to the primary bedding direction here. Um, but I'm going to probably get winded here, so I'll sign off for now and we'll get some more video as we head up and then definitely as we head down the slot canyons. Here's some of the fun just kind of slick rock walking when you're coming up these sandstone ribs. I mean, you're right on the rock in big rainstorms. This stuff really kind of crazy with all the water running down it. And you can see some of these harder, more resistant sandstones weathering out. They've got more of this iron oxide cement, which makes them a little bit darker but you just kind of stay on your feet and lean forward a little bit. Just use your toes and friction to work your way up here. Nice view of the crew coming up and the lower part of Leprechaun Canyon. So we've hiked all the way up to the top of the left fork of Leprechaun Canyon. And this is our, our first rappel. So you can see that's a, my son over there, Cole, rappelling down. Um, maybe like a 25 foot rappel that gets us into the drainage. Uh, and then looks like we'll probably have another rappel just below. And then you can see as we get into the more massive sandstone, uh, that's when it kind of will start slotting up. So we, as you come down these things, you run into dry falls and other obstacles you have to work your way through and so this is just one of those so we've got a an anchor here built off of some big boulders where all the people are right here and then a piece of webbing and then we hook our ropes to that to repel off of so some of the fun of technical canyoneering is just overcoming the obstacles and doing some of the repels and such so we'll we'll do a couple more of these as we go down We've got six adults, three kids, and just show you some of the cool beauty here in Leprechaun Canyon. So we just rappelled off this maybe little 20 foot little dry fall here, and we're now in kind of the meat, I would say, of left fork of Leprechaun Canyon. So I thought I'd maybe take you a little ways down this section of slot canyon. Let's see how technical it gets, but you can see sort of these little pits in the wall and little gouges and chips where as boulders have come down and scoured out this section of canyon, it's actually um, impacted the wall a bit, leaving some of these little chips and dings. And then of course you can get places where the water circulates and you get these sort of uh, fluted and sort of pothole shapes along the canyon wall as well. So we'll move down here a little further. Uh, pretty narrow. It's about shoulder width through this section, but it has a nice sandy bottom to it. We're catching up to our group here. Looks like they're all kind of backed up. So we'll put the camera away and then move on ahead. But single file as you go through these. So we're a little further down left fork and you can see just how tight this thing gets. Here's my foot for scale. Like you 
have to kind of wedge your body through these things. So a couple rocks we had to climb down just back up here. Uh, and in places you're, you're chimneying your body or you're stemming with your feet out to each wall. Um, where I think it gets really tricky is when the floor of the slot canyon literally V's down. Like there's really no sand at the bottom and so your foot kind of gets wedged down along the bottom. This is a nice place to see actively where the slot canyon is deepening. As flash floods come through here, pick up rocks and sediment, those act as the tools, the abrasion tools, to slice through this sandstone. We sometimes use the phrase, you know, slicing it through like a knife through butter. And that's actually a pretty appropriate phrase for uh, how these sandstones are cut by these streams with gradient. We can see a few chalk stones down here. Let's see if we can get by. I'll turn it around for a second so you can see how tight this is. Um, some of you might think this looks miserable, but we're actually having a really good time. Uh, so let's see here. Let's turn it around. And I need to twist around. It's pretty rough on the gear. You end up sort of dragging your your uh, backpack through. So now it's opening up a little bit down here at the bottom. You can kind of walk. Uh, but just magical the way the light plays off the sandstone walls. Here's some of our group I've caught up to. And then just kind of looking up towards the sky. So this section of slot here is maybe you know, 50 feet or so deep. And then what's fun is you get to these team building spots where you have to kind of help each other. So it looks like we have a chimney. So we have a chimney there, Emily. Oh yeah. Some other little obstacle there where we have to help each other down. So we'll get everyone through here and we'll record a little bit a little further down. So occasionally we get to obstacles like a little water in there that you kind of want to stay out of and stay dry. And so you resort to this textbook technique here of just kind of chimneying across to get past things. We're almost down to the confluence with the main fork of Leprechaun Canyon. And we just came through this lower part here. So we'll chimney past this and then we have one last sort of grand uh, section that we'll work our way through. So we've come down even farther into a Leprechaun Canyon where the left fork and the middle fork meet. And this slot canyon is just amazing how deep and dark and narrow it is. Um, I wanted to film a little bit before it got too dark in here. I'm not sure how this will work. There's no, uh, I didn't bring a headlamp. So, but just amazing how the water has cut such a deep slot in the sandstone. We'll go a little bit further. There's a chalk stone just ahead. So we've got a chalk stone. Oh, some steps there. Wedged into the slot right here. Some folks are going under it. I think I'm going to go over it uh, and continue on. But this is just one of the best parts of Leprechaun. Just incredibly dark. It's maybe two feet wide so i guess if you're claustrophobic this would this might get you um but just spectacular so i'm gonna scramble through this section and uh then when we get to the really pretty section that's a little bit wider we'll wrap up down there all right crew we made it we are past the most technical parts of leprechaun canyon this is the last little slot out, but this one's nice and easy. Easy to walk through, but still just as beautiful. Kind of look straight up there. You can see the light coming through. But let's go ahead and walk out here to the, where it kind of opens up and uh, we'll kind of end things there. I hope you enjoyed kind of working through this technical slot canyon with me. Uh, maybe you're not able to for whatever reason. So I hope this was a, a decent substitute for doing the real thing and giving you a little taste of uh, not just how kind of demanding but also fun and challenging these slot canyons can be but also just how beautiful 
and, uh, and magical and spectacular the scenery is when we come through here. It's looking kind of back there at the slot in the Navajo sandstone. And we're on our way out, kind of going through this last section that's sort of like a big cathedral. So hope you'd enjoyed coming with me on this little adventure. Uh, appreciate all the like, shares, and subscribes. Um, and if you can donate, there's a donate button on the banner. There's a thanks button that allows you to donate uh, the bottom right of the screen. And then under the video description, there's also ways, uh, links there as well. So we'll go ahead and sign off. We're heading out a couple, maybe a couple half mile or so from the car. And thanks for joining us here in Leprechaun Canyon in South Central Utah. <laughs>